Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome to another episode of What's in the Box. As I take a sip of my delicious, delicious pop. So, we've got a couple uh, standard booster packs for Magic the Gathering. I uh, went ahead and picked these up last time I was in the shop, so I'm going to go ahead and open these up. We'll see if we get any hits. Uh, still enjoying the magic. Hopefully... Everyone else is too. So we have two packs each of Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan, and Dominaria. Of course, Ixalan, the beginning of the Ixalan block, Cities of Gold, kind of, you know, checking out, looking for El Dorado kind of idea. It's not El Dorado, but the same idea of that, you know, Spanish conquistadors heading into South America looking for gold kind of idea, and the, and the native peoples kind of fighting back. Rivals of Ixalan, which was the smaller set of Ixalan, was the built-on pack. Uh, this was back when they did, like it's a long time ago, this is when they were doing large set, little set. They were the same kind of idea. And then Dominaria, of course, is the newest current set as of this recording. I need to get these uploaded so I'm not so far behind. Oh look, it's focusing on uh, Jaya's face there. Uh, the newest set as far as these go uh and basically what we have going on there is i just noticed i forgot to clean my nails again before i did a video wow been out mowing today so hands are might be a little grubby i'm sorry folks um right now uh what we're looking at here is dominaria the return to the plane of dominaria uh a lot of classic characters coming back karn jaya um Benalia, uh, all kinds of cool things. So let's go ahead and start with the oldest packs first. Work our way up. So we've got Ixalan. Do we go Cool Golem looking thing or Pirate Minotaur? Let's go with Pirate Minotaur. Let's give that a shot to start. Man, I can't get over how much work I had to do today mowing and then I just didn't get a chance to uh, to get the old handy pandy super clean. I do apologize. Hope it doesn't bother anybody out there. If it does, if it does, well, you're looking at the wrong channel. But stay anyways. It'll be fun. All right, let's open this guy up. Again, with six packs, I don't know that we'll do every. Uh, what we'll probably do is, well, we'll see how long it takes us. We have Allegiance Judgment, starting with the Commons. Skull Duggery. Frenzied Raptor. Ravenous Dagger Tooth. Cool looking dinosaur. Get Ixalan full of dinosaurs. Depths of Desire. A Spell Pierce. Territorial Hammer Skull. A Wind Strider. Merfolk Wizard. Ooh, Flash of Flying for five. That's kind of expensive, but you get a lot of skills out of that. And a Herophant's Chalice. And a Costly Plunder. Should be into the Uncommons here. All right, first Uncommon, the Rigging Runner. Uh, he's a Goblin Pirate. First Strike has Raid. Uh, if you attack the creature, he gets plus one, plus one. Um, if he enters the battlefield on that turn, for one, it's not bad. Wild Growth Walker. Whenever a creature you control explores, with a plus one, plus one counter Wild Growth Walker, and you gain three life? Ooh, that's kind of neat. Explore, of course, is when you bring a creature in, you look at the cards in your deck, and it gets abilities based on that. Glorifier of Dusk, an Ice Vampire Soldier, pay to life to either make it flying or give it vigilance. And our rare is a Deep Root Champion, a Merfolk Shaman for two. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on Deep Root Champion. All right. Oh, what am I doing? What is going on here, Grug? Embarrassing. And then we got our land and a pirate token. Everybody loves pirates. Oh, the tokens aren't on the screen. Oh, no. Oh, no, we weren't ready. We don't have everything laid out. There we go. Next up, back into pack two of Ixalan. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just quick run through the commons. Look at the uncommons and the rare. Maybe this time the rare won't uh, surprise us. How's that? All right, so March of the Drowned. A Ryle. Ooh. A Shining Aerosaur, a Shipwreck Looter, Commune with Dinosaurs, Kinjali's Collar, Stormfleet Pyromancer, 
Spreading Rot, Raptor Companion, Cobbled Wings, and then the Uncommons, an Imperial Lancer for one Human Knight. Uh, gets Double Strike if you own a dinosaur, because he would ride on the dinosaur. That's awesome. Unclaimed Territory, an Uncommon Land. Whoop. Enclaimed Territory is nice. Uh, normally, you uh, you choose a creature when it comes into play. Normally, it gives you a colorless mana, but you can get a mana of any color for the creatures that you announced when it came into play. A really useful land for tribal decks. Ranging Raptors. Three mana, two, three. Enrage. When it's dealt damage, search your library for a basic land card, put it into the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. I want to make an Enrage deck at some point. That seems neat. And the rare... Ooh, search for as content. We got a flip card, okay? So at the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You may put it into your graveyard. Then, if you have seven or more cards in your graveyard, you may transform search for as At which points, it becomes as the Sunken Ruin. So it's a legendary land. Transforms from Search for Ascanta. Either tap to add a blue to your mana pool or spend one blue and two generic. Look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a non-creature and a land card from among them. Put it in your hand. The rest go on the bottom of your library. So that's cool. Got a flip card. And we got the flip card token and a vampire token. Can never have enough vampires. I have to take a sip of my drink, folks. It has just been a wild day. All right, Rivals of Ixalan. The follow-up to Ixalan, the smaller set. Ixalan itself had 279 cards. Rivals only had 196. So, quite a difference in size. Here we go. We have an Araska Raptor. Raptor Companion again. Spirewinder. Araska Frillback. Shatter. Water Knot. Gleaming Barrier, Strider Harness, Jungle Born Pioneer, Enter the Unknown is our first uncommon. Target creature you control explores and play an additional land. Sky Marcher Aspirant, Ascend. Have 10 or more permanents, get the city's blessing. If you have the city's blessing, it gets flying for one mana. Not bad. And it's a 2 1 for one mana. Siren Reaver. Costs four normally. Siren Reaver costs one less cast if you attack with the creature this turn and has flying. And our rare... Kanuma's Awakening. Has a send. And at the beginning of your upkeep, each player draws a card. If you have the Citizen Blessing, then only you draw a card. Ah, so some nice card draw. Ooh, and a foil. Dire Fleet Neckbreaker. Foil on common. Attacking pirates you control get plus two, plus zero. That's kind of cool. Ooh, we just put together a, a pirate deck. We got a forest and a treasure token. Next up, Rivals of Ixalan again. Here we go. Will we get another foil? No mythic yet. Of course, these are random packs, so we're not guaranteed a mythic on any of these. But we are guaranteed to not be able to open the packaging. I got it. It's all good. I'm good at opening things. I'm the best around. No one's ever going to put me down. Suncrested Pterodon. A River Darter. A Goblin Trailblazer. Plummet. Recover. To Lonali's Crown. A Deadeye Rig Hauler. Strider Harness, another Jungleborn Pioneer, an Araska Relic, into the Uncommons. Pitiless Plunderer, four mana, when another creature you control dies, get a Treasure Artifact. Treasure Artifacts you can turn in for mana. Riverwise Augur, when Augur is the battlefield, draw three cards, then put two cards from your hand on top of your library in any order. Hmm. Thrashing Brontodon, really useful card. You spend three to put a three, four on the, on the play field. Then spend one to sacrifice and destroy target artifact or enchantment. And our rare... <gasps> we got a mythic! Oh, I did not expect to get a mythic. Wow, okay, so 
Alenda the Dusk Rose. She is a four drop. Ooh, I'm going to put her in a deck. I'm currently playing uh, vampires right now, black, white vampire tokens. She might go in there. She's a 1-1. One, one. She has lifelink. Whenever another creature dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on Alenda the Dusk Rose. When Alenda dies, create X, 1-1 one, one white vampire creature tokens with lifelink where X is Alenda's power. I think she might go in that deck. I might figure out um, how to work her in. I think she's going in there. But we got a mythic. I always love it when I get a mythic when I'm opening random packs. Now, of course, if we got a mythic there, chances are we won't get another mythic while doing this, but I'm pretty excited. Two more packs. Now we're on a Dominaria. Uh, Dominaria is the first of the new three-in-one setup that they're doing, so Dominaria will have no small set. It's just one set on its own, and then we get Core 19 and then Ravnica. Again, pardon me as I... Mm, that ice in there. You hear that bounce around. All right, so here we go. First, Dominaria pack. Oh, Ooh. Ooh, I see a human knight. Maybe that bodes well. Who knows? We have a knight of new Benalia. Gotta love Benalia. Befuddle. Skirk Prospector. I'm still super excited about that. Skirk Prospector. Sergeant at Arms. Grow from the Ashes. Keldon Raider. Broken Bond. Divination. Mesa Unicorn. I need another unicorn. Oh, these are just hit after hit. Uncommon. Sentinel of the Pearl Trial. Triad. Oh, there's a lot of text. Has Flash, so you can play it whenever you want. And when it enters the battlefield, you can exile target historic permanent control. If you do, return that card to the battlefield under its own control at the beginning of the next end step. Useful if you have, like, an when it begins, enters battlefield condition on a card. Spore Swarm, create three 1-1 one, one green sapling creature tokens. I have enough of those. I already have a sapling deck. It doesn't do very well. Oh, we got one of the lands, Memorial to War. Enters the battlefield tapped. Either add a red mana or sacrifice Memorial War to destroy target land. And the rare... Oh, is that a foil rare? Oh, I already have this in foil. So do we only get this? Do we not get a, a rare? This is the foil Triumph of Garrett. It's an uncommon, actually. That's not a rare. I have this in foil already. Huh. Uh, it's a saga. The first two steps put plus one, plus one on the creature you control with the greatest power. And then on three, target creature you control gets flying. First three, lifelink, you turn is just scary. I like the foiling on that, though. That's really cool. But I already have one of those. Ah, there's... <gasps> we got a second mythic! Oh, this is amazing. These are mythics I don't have yet either, which is awesome. So, Varix Bladewing. He's a mythic legendary dragon. He costs four to put out. He's a 4-4 four, four flyer. Kicker three. If you spend three extra mana, when he enters, we create Korox Bladewing, a legendary 4-4 four, four red dragon creature token with flying. So, for four, you get a 4-4. Four, four. And if you spend an additional three, you get another 4-4. Four, four. Oh, man. Two Mythics. Mountain. And a Cleric token. That's exciting. Oh, that's so cool. And one of the Mythics I really wanted. The other one is just a Mythic I've never had before. I get to add to my collection of Mythics. Mmm. Feeling good. All right, last pack. Oh, in case somebody needs to know where these came from. Woo. Track these down. What a great. Hey, and you know when I get these, I just tell the uh, the guy who runs my local gaming store, I'm just like, give me three packs. Give me one of each. I let him pick them. He is a lucky man, apparently. All right, we have an Avon Century. We have a Cabal and Vengal. Primordial Worm. Navigator's Compass. Arbor Armament. Dark Bargain. A Yavi Maya Sapherd. The Asthir Glider. Rampaging Cyclops. Another Broken Bond. Uncommons. Embolus Clutches. Spend six mana. Take something over and it's legendary. That's great. Take your enemy's stuff. Gotta love that every time. 
Curator's Ward for three. Enchant Permanent. Permanent has Hexproof. And when Enchanted Permanent leaves the battlefield, it was Historic Draw Two Cards. You got a Historic card out there? Like, I don't know. Let's say Alinda. And you don't want her to go away? Put this on her. And of course, you'd be running Black, White, Blue. But, hey, your choice. What? Oh, I've, Dominaria has a weird layout. Okay, I forgot. It's not like everything else because there's another uncommon in here. So our rare is a Helm of the Host. I have like three or four of these. I keep getting these. At the beginning, of, uh, spend four, equip for five. At the beginning of combat, create a token that's a copy of equipped creature. So that token isn't legendary. If equipped, creature's a leg uh, if equipped creature is legendary, that token gains haste. So you can put this on Alenda, for example, and make an extra copy of her. It's expensive. I'd like to put a deck around that, though. And then the weird thing is we get another uncommon that's behind the rare. Forgot about that. We got thrown off by our mythic and weird foiling. Uh, we got Shanna Sisse's Legacy. Uh, she's all green-white. Shanna Sisse's Legacy can't be the target of abilities your opponent controls. And Shanna gets a plus one, plus one for each creature you control. She's not hexproof, though, so she can be spelled off the battlefield. Uh, and then we got a forest... And a sapperling. Well, folks, that was pretty cool. We got a foil triumph of Garen. Again, really cool. We got our mythic Alenda the Dusk Rose vampire. And we got Varix Bladewing the mythic. I'd say that's a pretty good set of pulls for three random packs. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed seeing all those cards. I hope you enjoyed our stupendous luck today. I want to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, we hope to see you soon!